If you don't know how the perk of the Aerondite Silver Sword functions, then I highly recommend you watch the first Aerondite leveling guide I made way back in March of 2020, where I give a full detailed breakdown explaining everything you need to know. I'll link this video up in the cards as well as in the description below. That first method is perfect for leveling the Aerondite during a new game run. However, during a New Game Plus playthrough, an alternative method is required, which is accessible much sooner, allowing you to continue levelling the Aerondite well before reaching Care Morhen. This video will reveal everything you need to know. The Aerondite Silver Sword is the only piece of gear that's identical to its New Game Plus counterpart in terms of effectiveness. So if you grab it during your New Game playthrough, there's no need to grab it again in New Game Plus. Simply keep it in your inventory to be carried over. To begin, you'll want to progress far enough into the story to reach Skelliger Isles, which is accessible early in the game. However, before setting sail from Velen, you want to prepare by first levelling approx 5 to 10 levels from the level you started New Game Plus, so you're better suited for the archipelago of Warlord Clans. To the far southeast of Skelliger Isles, you'll find an island named Faro, where the least civilized clan of the entire territory have settled, Clan de Mun. To the east of Faro lies the village of Trotheim, ruled by the local pirate captain named Hammond. At the entrance to the village, you'll notice a yellow quest exclamation mark. As you approach, the two guards standing at the front gate mistaken you for someone they're expecting. What business? Oh, drop the secret shake, we've not the time. Nilfgaardian bloke, uh, Vili, said he'd send a body for the goods today. So when you go and just be sure to behave. You can play along and pretend to be said person, but for the purposes of this guide, you'll need to be truthful and let them know you're not who they think you are. This will eventually lead to combat. Look, I have no idea what you want from me. Then who the fuck are you? What the fuck are you doing here? Picking flowers. When this happens, simply sprint away from the village gates and follow the path heading north. The guards will disengage from battle and return to their posts. Continue north up the path and you'll find two clan members who spawn at this location here. They'll be hostile as long as you chose the correct dialogue options with the guards at the village gates. If they're not there when you first arrive, simply run up the path leading to the west for a short distance. Then turn around and head south back down the path you came. This should then trigger the spawn. These two mobs will quickly and infinitely respawn every time you kill them. No fast travel, loading or meditating is necessary. During combat, be sure to unequip any skills that deal damage over time such as the Crippling Strike's Fast Attack, which causes bleeding, and the Poison Blade's Alchemy skill, which deals poison. This is also true for any weapon bonuses or installed upgrades such as runes or glyphs. Anything that applies damage over time effects can cause the target to die before the Aerondite can deal the killing blow, thus preventing it from levelling up. To make things easier, it's a good idea to kill one of the clan members first, so you can then focus on the remaining one to build charges and not get flanked. If you don't deal enough damage using your Aerondite from the get-go, make sure to use your Steel Sword first to drain their health down to manageable levels, before swapping back to the Aerondite to finish the job. A few game settings may be helpful here. If you go to the main menu and select Options, then Gameplay, then scroll down to enable the option named Manual Sword Drawing and Sheathing, you'll now be able to quick swap to your Aerondite and have it stick without the Steel Sword auto-equipping. Quick swapping swords is achieved by pressing left and right on the D-pad. If the pirates are proving tough to kill, make sure the enemy upscaling option is switched off in the same options gameplay menu. To give credit where credit's due, this method was brought to my attention by one of my viewers who left a comment on the first video I released way back in March 2020, so props to them for the info. A last thing to note here is when I started New Game Plus, I noticed my Acquired Tolerance Alchemy skill was no longer tracking my formula count, thus hampering my ability to consume multiple decoctions as well as severely nerfing my Euphoria mutation. Simply unequipping then reinstalling the Acquired Tolerance Alchemy ability from its slot was all that was needed to fix the problem. 